Welcome back to the Garden in the Kitchen cooking show. This is episode five and I am Chef Sylvia Denervin. Hi, I'm Anne Buckley. I'm a wine consultant and I'm a volunteer board member for HCAT and for another organization called Embrace Culture. So Sylvia, episode five already. I can't I know, believe I can't that believe it. This is so we're exciting. already through four episodes. Um, let's have a quick recap on the things that we've learned so far from you. Yeah, so we mostly cooked uh, seasonal recipes. Mm -hmm. We started off with ground turkey and butternut yes. squash early yeah. in the season. Yeah. And we've gone through corn recipes and now we have beautiful tomato recipe uh, for our season, tomato okay. season. And, and I believe that some of our ingredients here you've harvested um, from the garden. We had a tour last episode. Um, I certainly enjoyed that, having a walk through the garden and seeing which vegetables you've grown. That was a lot of fun. I definitely enjoy it. I love being in the garden, so uh, it was very exciting for me to be able to uh, start last show in the garden. Yes. Hopefully ne next show will um, we'll be in the garden again. Today's a rainy day, but yes. it's okay. Yeah. We have our beautiful veggies inside, and I was able to harvest uh, some zucchini and some cucumbers uh, this morning. Okay, fantastic. So tell us what we're going to be making today. So today we'll be making one of my favorite family recipes yeah. and I say family recipes because this is the kind of recipe that everyone in your family will enjoy. Okay. And it's so versatile for instance uh, the vegetables that I'm using if your family doesn't doesn't love broccoli or tomatoes you can substitute for whatever veggies your family uh, enjoys and mm -hmm. of course everyone loves pasta. Okay that's that's a that's, that's one thing that is a true in my house. It's universal. I have some, I have some challenging eaters, so um, pasta is definitely one thing that everybody will go to, so great. Yes. And it's a, it's a midweek recipe, you were saying? Yeah, so it's a great uh, recipe for the weeknights when you just come home and yes. you, you want to eat something good and healthy and delicious, but you don't have a lot of time, right. you're tired, yep. so you're literally cooking the pasta, you're sauteing the veggies, right. and, uh, and the recipe is 18 minutes total. Okay. So within 20 minutes, you have a beautiful, fresh, seasonal meal on your table. Which is perfect for this time of year because, of yes. course, we're back to school. We've got everybody going back into their regular sports schedules. Yes. We're all kind of picking up the pace again. So Very uh, busy. Very fantastic. Busy. So, so this is good. Talk us through what we've got here. Okay, so I cooked the pasta ahead of time, mm -hmm. and right away I'm going to start okay. sauteing the veggies. Okay. And uh, but like I said, at, um, like I said earlier, uh, the pasta will yes. cook simultaneously with the veggies. Right. Okay. Okay. So, so it does, we're not adding any time or reducing any time by having prepped that ahead. Yes, exactly. So uh, it's it's really easy and and it's actually fun. You can in, you can invite your family yes. to help in the kitchen, chop the veggies, yeah. or just sit around and have the kids doing homework, and you can supervise yes. that situation okay. while you're chopping and sauteing. Yes. Uh, so this is really you're not having to concentrate hard on following step yes. by step in the recipe. Yes. That's always yes. valuable. Yes. Okay. So I have my. Uh, skillet going yes. and I'm going to add two tablespoons of olive oil okay and you can see I only really have a, a handful of ingredients so mm, really yes. easy and as mentioned early you can uh, use any variety of veggies okay that you like okay. that you have in hand um, so so would that um, would the combinations need to be paid attention to so for example if I switched out the broccoli for mushrooms for example um, would I be changing the flavor palette too much or is it really down to individual preference so it's definitely individual preference okay. so yeah you would change I mean broccoli doesn't in, in doesn't mushroom taste taste very mushrooms. different yep. but uh, pay attention to the combination mushroom yes. goes so good with peppers and onions right okay so that's uh, something you can do but so trust your instincts yes. as well Yes. Great. Play around with it a bit. Yes. I love a recipe that I can make my own as well. So exactly. Yes. Um, so our oil is getting warm, okay. and I have here two cloves two of cloves. garlic, okay, and one cup of diced onion. Okay. You can use white onion. You can use red onion, and I'm just going to add in, and we instantly get that sizzle. Yes, that I love. Great. Um, 
and then we're just gonna saute it. We're, we're sauteing everything, okay. but step by step. Um, for every recipe, you start with onions. Practically every recipe, you start with onions and yes. garlic, and you yep. saute until fragrant, until the onions become translucent. Okay. And you know, this is what I mean. You've got your saute going on, and you can check on your kids' homework, yes. Yes. and you can. Or if you haven't prepped in advance, you can be chopping your next vegetables. Your next and vegetables. Those. Are, yes. Yes, I do a lot of that. I do a lot of like. Preparing as you the go. next vegetable yes. as I go, yes. yes, it's so easy. Or if you had a bit of time the evening before, you could make all these ready and put them in your little prep dishes and yes. good to go just as we are here today. Right, and the other thing too, you can um, you can buy already chopped veggies of if course. that helps. Yes. You know, these days at the store you can find everything chopped yes. and diced mm -hmm. and mm -hmm and ready to go so Good. you just literally toss it in yeah. and yeah. stir and next thing and you know you it's still ready. have that nutritional family meal yes yeah Love okay, it. so uh, the onions are smelling very they lovely. They smell very good. Onions always smell so good. I love the smell of onions and garlic together. Yeah. It's so nice. Okay, so while that's going, uh, the next thing I'll be adding in is our tomatoes because okay. Notice there's no tomato sauce, there's okay. no pasta sauce here, okay. um, but we're going to cook the tomatoes down a little bit so okay. they will blister and create this little mild sauce okay. and mild okay. flavor to it. Nice. So it's not a heavy dish, it's okay. not a heavy saucy dish, no. Okay. it's very light. So I'm going to go ahead and add the tomatoes Perfect. as I mentioned, and I have here two cups of Tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, some yep. are whole, some are diced. I was just going to comment on that. So you've taken some of them in half, but others you've just left as is. Yes, I did. Uh, because it will help to break it down and blister um, okay. quickly. But I also love the looks of whole tomatoes. Yes. So I just mix and yes. match. You, you do whatever you want. You okay. can dice them all. You can leave them all whole. Okay. It's fine. Great colors um, going on in that pan as well. Yeah, it's yeah. going to look beautiful by yeah. the end of the finished dish. Uh, the next thing I want to mention here is uh, that I'm using chicken sausage. Okay. You can use Italian sausage. You can use your favorite sausages. This one in particular is already fully cooked. Okay. And it happens to be gluten-free too. Okay. But then again, you can use any sausage you like. Spicy sausage, mm -hmm. Italian sausage. This one is... Uh, garlic garlicky so lovely and in <laughs> fact i i've tried this particular sausage yes. um recently myself and delicious i have to say um i think it would work really well with these other ingredients that you're putting together it really does and again it adds to the fact that this is a quick dish yes so you don't have to make sure the sausages are cooked yep. because it's already fully cooked yeah okay and also, I noticed when you were doing the prep work, that obviously they slice so much easier as well. When you want a dish like this, you're able to slice those sausages ahead of time. So that Very they can easily. just go in and join the main ingredients. Yes, yes. yes. And you can dice them smaller too. You yeah. can leave bigger chunks because yes. you don't have to worry about cooking. They're yeah. fully cooked. Yes. All you need to worry is about heating them up. Okay, perfect. Which will do. Uh, okay. In fact, we're adding the sausages. These are four sausages so okay. we have 11 ounces of sausage okay uh, you can add more you can add less mm -hmm. if you like and what about if you were vegetarian you would leave the meat out altogether you will yeah yep. you can leave the meat out altogether I do it often yes um, add more veggies yes. if you like yep. um, but like I said this dish is so versatile it will literally fit everyone's dietary everyone's needs plan. and taste Palette. yes so I'm also adding the broccoli right now. I've got okay. two cups of broccoli. Now, this is the recipe that I have on the site yes. as is. Mm -hmm. um, but lately I've been cooking with zucchini a lot. Okay. It's zucchini season currently. So I've been making this with zucchini okay. a lot. Uh, okay. And it's delicious. Okay. Yes, I can imagine. So I've noticed that you've cut those broccoli sprouts into nice small florets there. Um, I often undercook the broccoli, I think. I'm so so nervous about overcooking it. Does that help the size of the florets that you're putting in there? 
Yes, it absolutely helps. Uh, that is the reason why. Yes. Um, it distributes them more okay. and they'll cook quicker because okay. I've broken, I've sliced them smaller, I've broken yes. them down to small pieces and bites and it will cook quicker. But then again, you don't want the, your broccoli to be too soft. No, exactly. And yes. that's where I'm always like on the fence. Do I take it out? Do I leave yes. it a second longer? So it will be slightly al dente. Good. Yeah. Perfect. Where it's still retaining all of those nutrients. Yes. So we are moving along pretty fast it's, here. Yes, Can you tell? Quite a pace. Yes. The smells are delicious. The color combinations are working really nicely. Yes. And you yeah. can leave it alone for okay. a couple of minutes. We're just having a conversation and I'm stirring, stirring, yes. but you can yep. leave it alone okay. for a couple of minutes. Okay. So there's uh, no need fine to too. pay it as much attention Oops. as we are giving it today. No, you right. don't. Uh, it's a really easy dish all around. Yes. So I will let this sit for just a couple of minutes. What we're looking to get here is uh, the sausage to heat through, maybe get a little bit of golden color on, around the edge. Okay. We're uh, looking to see the tomatoes breaking down, like okay. I said, and some of them already have. Ah, uh, I uh, see. Some yep. are still whole. Um, so we'll just let this cook for just a couple of minutes, two, three minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and I you would be keeping an eye on your pasta at this point, making sure that that's bubbling through nicely. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Check your pasta if you're cooking it simultaneously. Yep. And then uh, we'll come back and we'll just add the salt and pepper, some tomato paste for coloring. Yeah. Um, and then we'll finish the dish. Okay. Sounds so great. So you at home, check your pasta and we'll come back in two minutes to check our sauteed veggies. Welcome back. Our veggies have cooked beautifully and now it's time to finish the dish. Are Fantastic. you ready? I am, absolutely. Okay, so I have reserved one uh, cup of pasta water here, which okay. we'll add um, to the veggies. But okay. first we will add two tablespoons of tomato paste. Okay. This will add color and some flavor to it as well. And a pinch of salt um, in black pepper. I always say, to taste, salt and pepper to taste. Okay, okay. You notice uh, on the blog I yes. always say that. Yes. And that is because, you know, everyone's different. Everyone likes a different amount, of yes. course. Yes, so I hate to in, you know, impose on the amounts. Um, so I'm just adding a handful of each here. They're mixed. Okay. And we're going to um, stir quickly. So let that sauce all come through. So I can see that all blending nicely now. Yes. And um, the tomatoes are all cooked down. Yep. The broccoli is slightly softened and our sausage is golden brown. Yes, so fantastic. now we'll add our pasta. Let me turn down the heat first. So what about those who prefer um, gluten-free pasta? Can we still, will this dish still work with different options of pasta or we're using gluten-free it looks like spaghetti to me is that right so yes i am using gluten-free spaghetti okay. today and um this recipe will work with all kinds of all pasta, pasta. So regular pasta right. I've, I've had it with whole wheat okay. pasta as well in fact the one on the blog is whole wheat okay uh this one is gluten-free you can also use zucchini noodles. Okay. Zoodles. So if you're low carb, you're looking at your carb intake, you can use uh, zucchini noodles and okay. that tastes wonderful too. I have also tried that. So I think I actually said, I can see that we're using gluten-free. What I meant was, I can see that we're using spaghetti. I can't tell any difference between gluten-free spaghetti and regular spaghetti. Sometimes it's hard case. to tell, though yeah. the texture So is there a difference, Sylvia, that you can So in notice? the texture, yes, there is a little bit of uh, difference in the texture. Okay. Uh, also in the flavor. Okay. Um, I yeah. don't think it's a uh, it's a very very distinctive mm -hmm. uh, difference. Okay. Um, but then again, everyone is different, yes. and you know, it's whatever you need. So everything's mixed in good, and I'm going to just add the pasta water. One cup of whoops, reserved pasta water. Um, and that just to add a little bit of broth and starchiness to it, it mm -hmm, adds mm -hmm. um, 
it adds to the sauce. I always okay. reserve one cup of pasta water in it, so it's not so dry yes. when yeah. you're eating. So everything is all set here. Okay. Looking and amazing. The only finished touches are the herbs. Lovely. And these came from the garden as well? Uh, yes, it's the last of my cilantro season. Fresh cilantro. Just taken straight over there. Perfect. Okay. So um, for a wine pairing, I would recommend a Sauvignon Blanc. Um, goes very well with sausage dishes, but also if you just if you choose to leave the, the sausage out, then all of those beautiful flavours from the from the vegetables will complement very well with the Sauvignon Blanc. Um, alternatively, because we're having this at a lunch time, I've chosen for us to have a, a spritzer. So we'll try a spritzer, which is a um, Pips Piquette spritzer. That sounds wonderful. Um, which just has a light fizz to it, a light oh, bubble. Oh, perfect. So, perfect yes. for lunch time. Exactly. So let uh, me remove the ingredient tray and we'll serve our dish. Okay, sounds perfect. And I'll serve some wines to go with it. And we can have a taste. It just looks fantastic, Sylvia. It smells really good too. So I hope you're hungry, in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always hungry for your cooking. <laughs> so these come in a can, which is great. Um, yeah, that's so fun and Very versatile easy. and yes, enjoyable exactly. to grab and go. There we go. We can have a small taste each. How many would this dish serve, Sylvia? So this will serve um, anywhere from four to six. It, it really depends. Little ones will eat less. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, my family's all adult size, so uh, yes. you probably not fit, feed everyone. Yes, <laughs> yes. But uh, yeah, four but to six. Okay, yeah. but you can always multiply the recipes and yes, yes make you up You can double it. Or, yeah. Yes. And it freezes nicely, does it? So I do not like to freeze pasta, Okay. but it stays in your in your fridge, in okay. your refrigerator for uh, up to four days. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Make sure you use an airtight container yep. and um, it should be good for a few days. Perfect. Yes. Sounds great. Okay. Let's taste. Shall we try it? Yes, please. Mm. It's delicious. It's very good. I love how the tomatoes have, like you said, they've broken down, but still so flavorful here. Um, you broccoli. can still taste the tomatoes. Mm, exactly. The broccoli is cooked just right. Broccoli is still got a crunch, but not too crunchy. Just how I like it. Yes, perfect. And I love pasta, so. And and I'm not <laughs> tasting a difference with the gluten free oh, pasta. Oh, that's good. So that's excellent for those that, that's good. that prefer the gluten free. Should we have a toast to episode yes. five? With our pips piquette, our cloudy peach and Cheers. cranberry. Enjoy. Thank you for watching episode five. It's been a pleasure uh, cooking with Anne and I hope you at home are enjoying uh, the cooking show. Let us know if there are any recipes you would like to see next and uh, we'll be glad to uh, cook for you.